I'm really doing my best here. Where did I go wrong? So here's your work and I check all the steps. Let me tell you, nothing wrong with it. This is a perfect answer. If you have this answer on my exam, I will give you full credit. But it's just that you're answering this question on a computer software. It looks like rubber sign. I'm not entirely sure though. I think there's an intended solution that you have to give in order to get this question right. And I also saw your reply to others for the intended solution, like the answer they gave you. So I think you can totally send this to your teacher and then see if you can get the points back for it. But I wanted to show you how to get the intended solution. So let's have a look. Firstly, you broke down cosine squared x. But here we have sine of 2x. I know, either way works, but the intended solution is this way. We are going to break down sine of 2x by using the double angle identity. So have a look. We will have the integral 3 times cosine squared x. And this right here is 2 sine x, cosine x, and then dx. And now have a look. 3 times 2, we get 6. And let's put it on the outside. And then we have the integral. And then here we have cosine squared times cosine to the first. So together we have cosine to the third power x. And then here we have the sine x dx. So that's the clean up. Now, as we can see, we have a sine factor on the outside. And then here we have a cosine x to the third power. So we can just proceed by doing a u sub. I'm going to let u equal to just cosine x and this is to the first power do not make it to the third power if you do the derivative will be too big no you don't want that this is perfectly okay then differentiate both sides du will be the derivative of this keep in mind the derivative you get negative sine x yeah and then let me isolate the dx for you dx will be du over that now we can be happy because we can take this integral to the u world so we get the 6 on the outside, integral, cosine, and the third power, right? So it's cosine x, that means we have the u, and the third power, here we have the sine x. And the dx is this, du over negative sine x. You see what happens? This is like the best thing ever. Sine x, sine x cancel. So everything's in terms of u, very nice. We do have a negative though, put it on the outside. So negative six integral, and this is u to the third power du. Now we can just do the reverse power rule. Add one to the power, we get four, and divide it by the new power, so we have one over four. So finally, negative six divided by four, reduce that, we get negative three over two. And then we have u to the fourth power, u is cosine x so we have cosine x and then to the fourth power let's put the fourth power right here and that is it so this right here will be the answer for that hopefully it helps that's it